I'm just going to stop for a second and just have a chance to say, if you like what you've seen today and you want to see me do more of these kind of investigations and paranormal investigations, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Outstanding Madness, and follow my Facebook group, My Paranormal Investigations. Everybody that follows me, everybody that shows me support, it gives me more encouragement to keep going and doing more of these videos. So I just figured I would stop for a second and quickly throw that in and just, just let people be aware of what I'm trying to do here. Now, you guys be safe and I will see you all on the other side. Getting out the SRS Ghost Box. This was an app that you could get on the Play Store, but for some reason they've taken it down. But I'm one of the few that actually has this original app on my phone, which I find very revealing. I've had my name called out probably about 30 times now since I've started doing this all off this one device so i'm very skeptical but at the end of the day i get a lot of revealing evidence based off this app here so here we go this is the srs ghost box my name is andrew i'm a paranormal investigator does anybody want to communicate with me in this cemetery Could you tell me your name? If you want to come forward and communicate with me, here's your opportunity. Can you tell me how old you are? Well, can you tell me who I'm speaking to? Who's the last person that got buried in this cemetery? Wow, that was interesting. Whatever the hell happened just then. It was like somewhat of a conversation. I would have to slow that down to see exactly what it said. Could you tell me your name, whoever just spoke then? <laughs> Am I speaking to Annie? Oh, wow. Why do you want me to go away? Was I speaking to Annie? 1877 to 1942. Can you come forward and communicate with me?
There's spirits in Witchy Public Cemetery. Can they come forward and communicate with me? Can you say my name, Andrew? help page scanning all right i'm going to get the perilous out and see if this works as well we might be able to get some kind of a conversation on this I can run the Paralys and the SRS ghost box at the same time, so it gives it more opportunity for more conversations to come through onto this. Is any spirits that want to make communication with me? Here's your chance. If, you, if there's a if there's a story that you want to say, here's your chance to say it. I've come out here to make communication with you. My name's Andrew. I'm a paranormal investigator. All you need to do is come close to me and try to make communication into this. Try to make communication into this device that I'm holding in my hand. You stopped. Who just said that to me? I've got an EMF meter. When this light turns to from green to red, it means that there's usually something that shouldn't be there. Some form of energy that shouldn't be underground or above me. So I'm gonna press this button and see what happens. He's got one off. Early. As you can see, this EMF meter is jumping. It's going onto the yellow. So there is energy here. See that? That's nearly gone to red. If there's a spirit near me right now, can you tell me your name?
And what's really odd, I just heard like a stomping noise coming from over in this direction. Clearly there's nothing around me. Twisting trees. Well, that was weird. Who am I communicating with right now? Did you just make that noise over there to the right of me? It's not spiking at all now. Well, I've made it to another abandoned location. Be careful where I'm standing. Surely, not really sure what to expect here. Definitely abandoned. Oh wow. This one's spooky as. You know, I really love coming across all this stuff. Is there anybody in this house that wants to communicate with me? Can you give me a name? Very interesting. Why is this place abandoned? Oh, well, wasn't expecting that. It's come off the wall there. Interesting. Why are the doors a lot? Oh, what was that? If there's any spirits in this house, can you tell me my name? Can you tell me your name?
Well, there you go, guys. There's another abandoned house that I've come across in the town of Wichi. There's a lot to see out here. Just forgotten in time. Look at this. That's that's probably the coolest thing that I've come across today. Big Coke Coca-Cola shape cloth thing that you hang down the rail to keep the heat out. Very interesting. Just sheds collapsed in the background. All right. Maybe I'll come back here at night and do an investigation at night. I think that would be a lot more creepier. But I'm gonna keep going and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Now I'm having a bit of a look around in this old place and I found this really old creepy looking house. I'm just gonna show you. Well, it looks like a house to me. It looks abandoned. There's all broken windows at the front of it. So I guess we'll have a bit of an investigation and see what what this place has. Very interesting. Yeah, it'd have to be abandoned. you can get inside it. Old fridge. get my SRS camera out. Well, that's definitely creepy. The EMF meter's going off. I'm probably 10 steps away from that. Just stopped. Can you make something move in front of me? Can you make that EMF meter go off again that's on the table?
Yeah, it's going off. Look at that. Can you make it stop? Can you tell me your name? Can you open that screen door in front of me? Can you say my name, Andrew? Oh, look at that coming off now. How old are you? Was somebody murdered in this location? Sound like it said God then. Did you just say God? Is there any demons in this location? Yep. Can a demon come forward and communicate with me? Look at that, it's going off when I said that. Can you say my name, Andrew? Wow, look at that, as soon as I said that. Whoa, that just sounded like Andrew. Who am I communicating with? If you can hear my voice, can you say my name, Andrew? Where are you right now?
Can you tell me your name? Can you say my name? Can you tell me your name? Well, from what I can see, this is probably the main street. And it's not a main street. There's nothing here. It's all silos over there. There's train tracks that come through here. Probably for freight trains. But something that's captured my attention is, looks like the, the remainder of one of these old houses. Looks like the fire pit. It's in Victoria, in the country really not much here look at that it's amazing how this is the only part that's made it for all the years very interesting it's not really much else here there's an old tennis courts over there Yeah, I thought I'd show you that anyway, but I guess I'm just going to keep exploring this old town and see what else I can find anyway. But I'll see you guys soon. Like out in a paddock, it's like a two minute walk away. Looks like an old well. I can't reach up there, but I can put my camera up. There's something else that I found out here. I figured I'd get out the car and record it, document it. All right. He's a pretty friendly, placid kind of fella. My paranormal 
investigation and I'll see you guys